I was not present, but I understand that the real uh, genesis of Verdana came about in this way. A new version of Windows, Microsoft Windows, was being beta tested and was put in front of Steve Barmer, sort of second in command at uh, Microsoft. And Steve obviously liked it, but he did say, um, you know, the look and feel are just like previous Windows. Can't we change something? Can't, for example, can't we have a new font? And so people started running around at Microsoft saying, we've got to get a new font. And by a long process of trial and error, I would have to say, we arrived at Verdana. There was this pre-existing sans serif face, MS Sans, engineer designed face. We would take some paragraph, we'd put it up on the screen, both in MS Sans in Verdana. So they were on the screen at the same time. We would then sort of back off, I mean literally walk backwards across the room. And we found that there was a point where we could no longer read the MS Sans, the older face, but we could still just make out Verdana. And by doing that kind of crude uh, empirical uh, uh, exercise. We convinced ourselves that we were sort of on the right track. But then there came an interesting moment because if you then approached the screen, indeed if you took a loop, a magnifying glass, and looked closely at the phosphor patterns on the screen, you would see, as the engineers did at Microsoft, that for example, I don't know, maybe the, the lowercase o in MS Sans and the lowercase o in Verdana were identical. Maybe the n was the same. And maybe a lot of letters were only slightly changed and so on. And so the engineers would look at these two things and say, well, this is very baffling. I mean, how come when the bitmaps are very close to one another, many of them perhaps even identical, why is it that you can read one and not the other at a certain distance? And I had a very hard time. I mean, I, I, I knew the reason, but I had a hard time explaining to them. And it has to do with the spacing between letters. In MS Sans, they had not taken sufficient care with the spacing. I'm very sympathetic to this because unless you are a type designer, I don't think you really appreciate ever how important the space within letters and between letters is. It is as important as the letters themselves, the positive forms. MS Sans happened to be a, an instance where when you backed off, letters, adjacent letters started to run into one another, or maybe you got rivers of space between letters that looked like a word space or something or other. The spacing was more even in Verdana. And it was hard to make that point to the engineers, and I'm not sure if I ever really did, but, but you know, they, they sort of accepted that that was, uh, that was the reason for something which had baffled them. But you as the type designer absolutely have to assign space to every single character, and this, as I say, as soon as I've done the first character of a typeface, it has, I mean, there's never a time when it doesn't have space. I mean, I may get it wrong, I have to revise it, but, but it never exists in a vacuum, a spatial vacuum, and it always has an allocation of space to it.